For the families of Diden and Ogboru, both of Delta State, April 18th and 20th, 2019 will forever be significant as their daughter and son, Maureen Diden and Emmanuel Ogboru, were joined together at two lovely ceremonies. Give me your love! Emmanuel is telling the way! Warren to finally give me body! First, a culturally on point traditional marriage held at Honorable Michael Diden's Palatial Castle. Then, a very well attended wedding ceremony at the Mega Praise Church of Christ Center. Family members, friends, the political elite, colleagues, and well wishers were on ground to celebrate and felicitate with the new couple as they became one. Among them were Mr. Omasa Mabiako, Eze Titus Ezeuzie, the Eze Ndigbo of Sapele, Honorable and Mrs. Choice Overa, Bishop Sonny Sheru, popular musician Norisha Femi, Mr. Lazarus, Mrs. Light Diden, Honorable Austin Opubu, Honorable Adego, Mrs. Eyebira Onokwe, Mrs. Mary Diden, Honorable Godwin Ebosa, Honorable Sharif Oboriwori, Honorable Sonny Wakego, Mrs. Agatha Diden, Mr. Agoro, Honorable Chief Otimei Adams, Mr. Eyogi Asaba, Honorable Ovie Agas, SLG to the state government, and the list goes on and on. To be my Lord, to wear the white, to be my Lord, to wear the white, to hold from this day over, to put on the day over. For all that is ours in Christ Jesus. For all that is ours in Christ Jesus. And yet, do I give you my pledge? I give you my pledge. For protecting you. Father of the bride, Chief Michael Diden, aka Jele himself, was extremely happy during the celebrations and showed it by gracing the occasion with wonderful and red dance steps. <laughs> Several friends and well wishers bless the couple and pray for their happiness. Are they happy? Well, well. For to, like today, and they wait for like today, make it come, and it don't come. And thank God for His grace for make it to happen. May God bless them with children and abundant money. When they go to live their life, they go great, and their children go great in life. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. I'm very grateful to God for letting me to be alive to witness my daughter's wedding. I've talked to them at length, but I'm also reminding them now that Maureen, you should respect your husband, and Emmanuel, you have to love Maureen as you love yourself. Make Jesus Christ the foundation of your marriage and learn to pray with each other. See, so you are already smiling. Honestly, I'm really excited. This is a dream come true. We are happy as a family. At last, today is come, has come, so we're glad. All glory to God. Children surround the table according to the word of God. Plenty money. They should live and grow all together to be what God has wanted them to be. I wish them the best. I wish them all uh, the good.
good things of marriage and God bless you. I am so excited, very, very excited because that's my desire, my wish for all of them. As a young lady that one good man will come and find them and get married to them. So my wish for them is also to enjoy in their marriage too. My advice for Maureen is to have patience. To be patient in the marriage. Because marriage is not like, uh, it's not a bed of roses. It's an institution on its own that we learn every day in marriage. So my wish for her and my advice for her is to have patience and make his husband his friend. Marriage is patience, endurance. I pray the lady should be a virtuous woman because marriage entails a lot of things. Especially the woman, she has to be patient. In a marriage when there is no patience, when there is no love, the marriage will not stand. Unity will stand and divided will fall. I pray for unity and long life for them in the name of Jesus Christ. Their children, Lord God, will be mourned. They will have children, they will have money to take care of the children. The children will go to higher heights in the name of Jesus Christ. The marriage is blessed in Jesus' name. The bride is my sister. I'm happy for her. And I pray God bless her marriage with children, more money, long life and prosperity. The couple themselves were ecstatic. And this is what they had to say when they cut their breasts. I'm very, very happy. She's a very understanding person, down to earth, everything. She's nice. I want to say a very big thank you to, my, to God, number one, because uh, without the help of God, marriage is nothing. To my sisters, to my in-laws, and especially Mommy Mary Dede, Mommy Heidi, you know, and to Allah, I want to say a very big thank you to them. May God bless them. Abundantly. My husband is a lovely person. He's someone that loves food. Doesn't joke with his food. The, the physical food and the spiritual food is a very nice person. And he's also someone that loves God. I feel excited. My first time go to God Almighty, to my father and to our, all our mothers, to all our mothers, to my siblings. They all rock. I want to say, hashtag, I'm grateful to God Almighty for making this thing come to pass. Without him, we are nothing. His ways is not our ways, neither are his thoughts, our thoughts. All in all, it was really a happy and elegant weekend for both the Ogbarus and Didens. And on behalf of Sapley TV, I, Solomon Okote, say congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Ogbaru. <laughs> Come now, they come to me. I'm not so happy if you're going to follow me. I'm not happy if you're going to follow me.